Good morning. Today is, I don't have my Fitbit. <laughs> like, I think it's May 7th, right? May 7th. Um, I always look because the battery is uh, packed away and I cannot find it. So, yeah, I don't have the Fitbit. I have the Fitbit, but I don't have the way to charge it. So that's where we're at right now. But anyways, we are reading Psalms 4 uh, today. And this is a Psalms series. So I'm doing the whole book of Psalms. And like I said, some of them are larger than the others. So we might have to do it in two parts. We'll see how it goes. Right? Um, I'm going to get to it because I am running late. Even though I got up uh, three and a half hours earlier than I went. I need to or whatever. Um, I always get up three and a half hours early than I have to go. Four hours early than I have to go. Because God wants me to um, be in his presence. You know what I mean? That's like the most important part of my day is this. This is it. This is the very most important part of my day. Nothing else is more important than this time with God. And I spend time with God all day. But this is where, you know... The cool stuff happens, right? You know, you're in his presence, you feel the Holy Spirit, like all the all the good things happen in the morning when I'm with God, because it's like that private time with him, you know? And so you need that every morning. You need that private time with Jesus. You really do. Because if you just think you can just, you know, open the Bible, read a scripture, and that's it. That is not it. That is not it. God wants so much more of you. He wants you to understand what you're reading. He wants you to feel the words in your heart. Because when we just read it and we don't feel in our heart, then it's like, eh, well, you know. And then if you can learn it and you can apply it to your life, and also if you can just remember it, like remember a scripture, you know what I mean? Just one. Just like, you know, a little line that can, you know, when you're going through like spiritual warfare, your mind won't stop. You know, you can easily just be like, oh, there's a scripture. And voila! And it stops. It's so cool. Okay, so reading Psalms 4. It says, Answer me when I call to you, O God, who declares me innocent. Flee me from my troubles. Have mercy on me and hear my prayers. How many times have you prayed to God and there was no answer? Yeah. Yeah. And what do we do? Yeah, you know, all upset, all mad, all angry, right? Because it says, Answer me when I call you, right? Answer me when I call you, oh God, and declare me innocent, right? Because, you know, but we all we all sin, we all fall short of the glory of God. But um, it says, free me from my tribal troubles and have mercy and hear my prayer. So God has his own timing. He doesn't have our timing. He doesn't have Liz's timing. He doesn't have your timing. It is his timing, right? And so waiting, yeah. That's how I feel about waiting, right? Because I I am not impatient anymore. I am learning to wait. But I'm like, come on, God. Really? Come on now. Just, just answer my prayer. Where am I supposed to go, right? Like, what is supposed to happen? And you're sitting there waiting and waiting, waiting, waiting. And you're just wondering, like, okay. But, right? It's God's timing, not my timing. And there's something I have to do here. I got, I, I believe I got, like, why I am here. Like, I got that today. So I've seen something, and I'm like, I will. I'll let you know about it if I can share it. But right now, I can't share it. So I'll let you know. Number two, how long will you, how long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue, continue your lies? Okay, how upset do you get when people lie about you, right? And it's not the truth. It's a lie, right? And you, so many people are not living their life with God, right? So what do we do? Do we go and be on their level or do we pray for them? Pray for them. That's what you do. You pray for them. Because you have to pray for others. You have to pray for these people who are, uh, they don't know what they're doing, right? Because they live their life in sin and they don't have God. They don't have Jesus. So so they may want to put accusations on you, lies on you, all this stuff. But the thing is, is that God is greater. 
God is greater, right? God is greater. You got to remember that one. God is greater because, man, the enemy, he wants to come to kill, steal, and destroy. And not today, Satan, not any day, you know, because it's like you are going through something, you know, or you're having these people talk about you or it's, it's whatever it is, gossip, whatever. And the enemy wants to just like stab you here and then wedge it in and open it up, right? And it's like, man, you can't do that. I'm a child of God. You can't do that in the name of Jesus Christ and the answer, right? Number three, you can be sure of this. The Lord set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. God will always answer. It may not be on your timing, but... It says right here, the Lord will answer. When I call to him, he will answer. Like I said, it may not be on your timing, but he will answer. And number four, don't let sin. Oh, this is a good one. Don't sin by letting anger control you. I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Think about it overnight and remain silent. It says it in the Bible. So why are you letting anger control you? Why are you uh, going to bed angry? Why? Do I have to keep saying why? Because it says right here, don't let sin. Okay, Psalms 4, 5, this is for you. Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent, right? So when you think, Think about things and ask God. First of all, ask God into the situation. Don't get all rare, right? You ask God into that situation, okay? You you have to ask God into the situation. Every situation, you have to ask God and be like, God, guide me. What am I supposed to do, right? Okay, number five, offer sacrifices to the right spirit and trust the Lord. Offer sacrifices. Hmm, sacrifices, well... You know, I look at um, when we, you know, tithe and when we give and when we help, you know, um, like sacrifices can be like, I volunteer at the Humane Society, right? I'm sacrificing my time. You know, a lot of people don't have the extra money. You don't have to give cash. Time is more valuable than cash, right? So if you can give time to like help the needy, help the homeless, do things like that. Like your time is way more valuable than money. Like money is whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, money helps people out. But your time? That's that's a gift. That's a sacrifice. Because our time is valuable, right? You know, and, you know, I could be sleeping longer instead of, you know what I mean? Like instead of doing this, right? So my time is valuable. And if I'm giving my time away because God's like, give that away. Give this away. I'm like, okay, get up earlier, right? Because God wants everything. He wants all of you. He wants every part of you. He doesn't want just part of you. He just wants He wants all of all of it. He wants your little pinky nail. He wants your eyeglasses. He wants your eyes. He wants everything. He wants your mouth. He wants all of it. He wants every part of your body to be his, you know? Um, where was I? Okay, number six. Many people say... Who will show us, many people say, who will show us better times? Let your faces smile on us, Lord. You have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvest of grain and new wine. Isn't it beautiful when God smiles on us and he gives us joy, he gives us love, he gives us peace, he gives us, oh, he gives us so much. It's so awesome. He does. It really does. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. How many do you, I'm going to ask you, do you um sleep peacefully? Do you have peaceful sleep? Because I have peaceful sleep. I love sleeping peacefully. Um, Even with my animals, I sleep peaceful, peacefully, right? Because... It is so important to have peace. It is so important to, um, you know, uh, Satan, I'm rebuking the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Let me beep that out. Rebuke that out, right? Because sometimes, you know, the devil wants to come and kill, steal, and destroy. And it's not happening because we got the Holy Spirit in us. Yeah. It's been a it's been a um a little tough spiritual battle lately. So you know, um, I feel great. I do. I feel great. But a lot of times it's like the devil just wants to come and just, right? And he can't. He cannot. So we got to keep our spirits up. We got to keep going because God is holding our hand, right? God is holding our hand through every trial and tribulation that we are going through. And um, like I said, ask for peace when you sleep. Because God loves you. God loves you so much. And I love you so much. I do. I do love you. I want you to have a wonderful and blessed day.